children differ in physical cognitive social and emotional growth and developmental patterns even identical twins have the same genetic makeup but are not exactly alike they may differ in the way they respond to play affection objects and people in their environment the field of human development covers the entire lifespan and has benefited from the contributions of many disciplines the development explores the psychological social cultural and biological development of people from conception to old age focusing on the process and mechanism of growth and change over the life course an important emphasizes is the role that social institutions such as school workplace and neighborhood play in human development as well as the influence that the developing people have on their environments for children with visual impairment with multiple disabilities that is vimd as any other sighted and hearing child development is an ongoing process that continues throughout life for every person who is with child need to understand the developmental milestones to evaluate the progress of the child and to plan and implement need based strategies for the child having a greater understanding of how people continue to grow and change as they get older can help us better plan for intervention and facilitate development development is a change or a growth that occurs in children it starts with the infancy and continues to adulthood in other words development can be refer as acquisition of skills and utilization of independent living development has both biological and environmental aspects which are unique to the individual contexts it is important to realize that as one enters into adulthood starts navigating middle age and faces the onset of old age guided by individual strait an individual occurs number of behaviors across the life span in the form of qualitative changes related to organizational and process changes considered as a maturation it is a process of an individual growing biologically socially and emotionally over time behavior changes gradually from simple to complex level of functioning the process of development refers to those changes which are influenced by maturational process and growth such as learning to walk maturation of the brain plays a key role in support of early behavioral acquisition such as rolling over on crawling or refers as developmental milestone behavior occurred through learning is commonly referred as skills research suggests that the most rapid development occurs during the first 3 years of life it starts from 0 to 2 years during this phase of life the child undergoes physical growth at a rapid rate greater than he or she will never experiences subsequently children at this stage are very active learners during this period the baby's physiological process become operative and fairly well adjusted The childhood is a period from 3 years to 12 years. The early childhood years, 3 to 6 years of age, represent a remarkable period of physical and psychological developments. 
children become more self sufficient occurring language become a part of a group become more coordinated and obtain a higher degree of self control it starts from 7 to 12 years during this period physical growth continues at a lower rate but intellectual and emotional developments are rapid and very complex as he moves from home to the outside world he begins to acquire basic skills of formal learning and develops certain social activities end of late childhood is also referred to as a pre adolescent period during this greater part of late childhood the child's physical growth continues but at a still slower rate until it shows a sudden spark as a child approaches adolescence he or she is more attached to her or his peer groups and interested in social and group activities during this period school tasks contribute intellectual developmental too it starts from 13 to 19 years very often it is called the awkward age because of awkwardness clumsiness and accompanying self consciousness which occurs frequently during this time physical mental emotional and social developments are complete it is considered as the last step in the long period of development which begins at the time of conception by the end of adolescence the individual is considered legally and socially matured he or she is capable of living an independent life it starts from 20 to 60 years it is the longest period of the life span an individual assumes adulthood at the age from During this stage physical developments are fairly complete but psychological adjustments continue throughout the entire stage choosing a life partner establishing a family become a useful and productive member are crucial during adulthood her or his personality and achievements are determined by the kind of experiences he or she has had during her or his early life of life for children with visual impairment with multiple disability it can have a major impact on overall aspects of child's development starting from physical development to emotional development comorbidities of visual impairment as a neurodevelopmental or other disabilities children can experience difficulties with language speech motor skills behavior memory learning or other neurological functions while the symptoms and behaviors of neurodevelopmental disabilities often change or evolve as a child grows older some disabilities are permanent diagnosis and treatment of these disorder are usually difficult all children follow their own course of development although it is easy to predict when certain skill will appear However, children with visual impairment with multiple disabilities are not different in them as nature and nurture play a very important role in the development of children. For children with visual impairment with multiple disabilities their sensory impairment creates a major limitation on environmental experiences. Number of research studies have revealed that children with visual impairment with multiple disabilities demonstrate developmental delay in the area of motor skills perception concept development special relationship tactile exploration and ego development for the children with visual impairment with multiple disabilities because of sensory limitation children receives inconsistent discrete and generally unverified fragments of information normally the incentive for tactile exploration is supplied by visual dimension color pattern shape and location these dimension are unavailable to persons with a visual impairment with multiple disability 
Therefore, purposeful tactile activity is minimal because the environment remains unknown and uninviting. The ability to utilize other sense in a more efficient way may cause cortical reorganization whereby certain brain structure which could be left otherwise unused because of lack of sensory input. Cognitive development is a progressive and continuous growth of perception, memory, imagination, judgment and reason. It is a intellectual counterpart of one's biological adaptation to environment. It also involves the mental activities of comprehending information and the process of acquiring, organizing, remembering and using knowledge. This knowledge is subsequently used for problem solving and generalization to novel situation. Many theories have proven how children learn in their environment and how cognitive development proceeds. One of the significant theories Jean Piaget viewed the child as an active participant in the learning process. According to the Piaget, cognitive development is based primarily on four factors that is maturation, physical experience, social interaction and the general progression towards equilibrium. Blooms and Tinker 2001 have proposed a model for language development that suggests language merges out of complex developments in cognition, socio-emotional development and motor skills. In this stage, infants construct an understanding of the world by coordinating sensory experiences with physical motoric actions. Infants gain knowledge of the world from the physical actions they perform on it. An infant progresses from reflexive instinctual action at birth to the beginning of symbolic thought toward end of the stage. The first phase starts from 2 to 4 years. In this period, they will develop the verbal representation but speech is egocentric. The beginning of symbolic rather than simple motor play throughout trans deductive reasoning can think about something without the object being present by use of language. The second phase is institutive phase. It starts from 4 to 7 years. In this period, the child develops the speech, becomes more social, less egocentric. The child has an intuitive grasp of logical concepts in some areas. However, there is still a tendency to focus attention on one aspect of an object while ignoring others. Concept formed are crude and irreversible, easy to believe in magic. Reality not firm, receptions dominate, judgment in moral ethical realism. The child is not able to show principles underlying best behavior. Rules of the game do not develop, only uses simple do's and don'ts imposed by authority. The concrete operational stage is the third of four stages of cognitive development in Piaget theory. This stage which follows the pre-operational stage occurs between the ages of 7 and 11 years and is characterized by the appropriate use of logic. Important process during these stages are It means the ability to sort objects is an order according to size, shape or any other characteristics. For example, if given different shaded object, they may make a color gradient. The ability to recognize logical relationship among elements in a serial order and perform transitive inferences. For an example, 
if A is taller than B and B is taller than C, then A must be taller than C. It means the ability to name and identify sets of objects according to appearance, size or other characteristics including idea that one set of object can include another. The child takes into account multiple aspects of a problem to solve it. For an example, the child will no longer perceive an exceptionally wide but short cup to contain less than a normally wide taller cup. The child understands that numbers or objects can be changed then return to their original state. For this reason, the child will be able to rapidly determine that if 4 plus 4 is equal to t, it means t minus 4 is equal to 4, the original quantity. It means understanding that quantity, length or number of items is unrelated to the arrangement or appearance of the object or items. The ability to view things from another perspective, it means even if they think incorrectly. Children in this stage can however only solve problems that apply to actual objects or events and not abstract concepts or hypothetical tasks. In this stage, individuals move beyond concrete experience and begin to think abstractly, reason logically and draw conclusion from the information available. As well as apply all this process to hypothetical situation, the abstract quantity of the adolescent thought at the formal operation level is evident in the adolescent's verbal problem solving ability. The logical quantity of the adolescent thought is when child are more likely to solve problems in a trial and error fashion. During this stage, the adolescent is able to understand such things as love, shades of grey, logical proof and values. During this stage, the young person begins to entertain possibilities for future and is facilitated with what they can be and adolescents are changing cognitively also by the way that they think about social patterns. For visual impairment with multiple disabilities, Children limitation of vision and other sensory disabilities restricts their learning. Motor skills refer to gross and fine motor skills, grass motor skills includes movements involved in large muscles, smaller muscles such as fingers are used for fine motor tasks. Major tasks of motor skills are achieved by the age of 18 months. The value of using scale of age ranging will help professionals to evaluate the achievement. If the child is not demonstrating one of the motor skills, then careful reassessment and intervention plans need to be done. In the case of visual impairment with multiple disability, sensory experiences limits sensory motivators for movement. It is also creates carry and daunting feeling in them. This results in delay motor development such as crawling and walking. Vision stimulates coordinated and controlled. For visual impairment with multiple disabilities, child coordinated and controlled movements are also affected. The child must be interested in socializing and communicating with others to be an effective communicator. Consequently, difficulties with the social interaction can profoundly impair communication. Indeed, this problem is one of the hallmark features of autism. 
these children will produce a behavior that elicit a reaction in the environment. The children respond to this reaction thereby resulting in learning. Children learn to communicate by making association between one things to another. One of the most severe sensory deprivation is that of communication. Sensory provides an incentive for communication and language. Children have a preferences for faces and it is a, through this preferences that they establish the foundation for yearly social relationship with others. Children establish imitation skills by studying others in their environment. This practice begins as imitation of facial expression and then develops into imitation of more complex behaviors such as action on objects and eventually speech and language development. A strong social emotional foundation is key to the development of verbal language behavior. Children with a visual impairment with multiple disabilities have a limitation in experience in outside environment and experiencing in expected patterns. Limitation in receptive and expressive language creates limitation on socio-emotional development of children. For children with a VIMD, lack of sensory experiences limits linguistic development as they lack in sensory motivators. Verbal language perception, development and usage in strongly related to the different sense experiences. The presence of vision impairment with multiple disability has a negative effect on speech language development in children and delay acquisition of linguistic, social, academic and sensory abilities as well. Overall visual impairment with multiple disabilities makes a major impact on overall development as follows. They may deficit in identifying the source of sound, difficulty in listening in a noisy environment, language delay, speech delays, lack of coordination, decreased muscle tone leading to delays in gross motor skills and they are delayed fine motor skills, delays in self feeding and they are delayed in social interaction and development of play and they may decrease learning abilities and they face problems in working memory, distractibility and poor judgment, inability of brain to control muscles function, difficulty in muscle control and coordination and they may lack in the bladder and bowel control and loss of sense of balance and decretion of motor skills and loss of equilibrium and they are disorder interpretation of tactile stimulation. Behavior problems are assessed with two different approaches. The first is statistical judgment. A behavior disorder is diagnosed if the child exhibits extremely frequent or extremely severe maladjusted behavior in comparison with other children or adolescents of a same age group, gender or a socio-cultural group. The second kind of assessment is called clinical judgment. That is, behavior problems or problems that affect physical, mental and psychological well-being to a clinical significant degree. Visual impairment, children with the comorbidities exhibit significant challenging behaviors. These behaviors are usually intense to gain attention, to communicate, to express needs, self-stimulatory, some are intensive too, particularly making disruptive sound or noise, self-injurious behavior and eating inappropriate objects or substances. Some behavior also indicate the sensory loss or because of comorbid conditions. Visual stemming behavior such as hand flapping, staring at lights or ceiling fans and repetitive blinking relay on to stimulate the senses. Some children use stamping behavior such as looking out of the corner of their eyes, moving their fingers 
in front of their eyes staring at an object or watching it spin. Stemming behaviors help to stimulate the brain particularly for a child who needs more sensory input. Social processes are shaped in the first year of a child's life and eye contact is a basic function in their development. Lack of direct stimulation of children with visual impairment with multiple disability may result in establishing improper behaviors such as a typical movement of arms, wobbling, putting their fingers into their eyes. Negative experiences connected with the social contacts or their lack may lead to low self-esteem, social immaturity, egocentrism, shyness, isolation, passivity, withdrawal and dependence. Lack of social contacts in childhood and the inability to read non-verbal communications by children with visual impairment with multiple disabilities is another reason why they have difficulties in understanding social behaviors. In assuming assertive attitudes, in remaining calm and reasonable when playing with their peers. It is important to distinguish between the human aspiration that motivate the uncritical adoption of need based pedagogy from the entitlement of visual impairment children with multiple disabilities to be addressed both with dignity and through demonstratively effective techniques. Literature identifies behavioral work with other key challenging behaviors in children with visual impairment with multiple disabilities as stereotyped behavior and excessive vocalizations and important considerations arise with respect to the effect of the way in which staffs conceptualize challenging behavior on their ability to manage their behavior. Thank you.